There is this misconception floating around the internet that Dutch food is bland and boring. I was in Amsterdam a couple of weeks ago and I cannot in good conscience stay silent on this matter. As a self-proclaimed foodie, I will defend Dutch food. All dishes but one, but stick out until the end of the video to find out which. Okay, let's start with breakfast, which I hear it can also be had as a Brinner, Pannekoeken, or Dutch pancakes. <laughs> they are slightly thicker than French crepes, but thinner than American pancakes. And what's not to love, salty, melty Dutch cheese, or crispy, savory Dutch bacon. And I would know because bacon here in Cyprus eh, is not so good. So this pancake not only was huge, filling, and it was extremely tasty. I would 100% recommend it. What better way is there than starting your day with pannekoeken? Of course, by supplementing it with pofferches. <laughs> I had the traditional ones with butter and powdered sugar, but I of course had to use some of that caramel sauce that was on the table, and it was awesome! Let's move on to classic Dutch dishes which I had for lunch. I'm finally gonna have bitter bollen. <laughs> yes, I'm excited. What a treat! They are deep fried balls with thick roux and veal. They are the ultimate beer snack. Here's me enjoying it. I am red. Yes. Okay, now we need to be careful. Oh. It really feels like a bechamel in a bowl, which gives me macaroni to furno or pasticcio vibes. One of the dishes that memes make fun of is of course hootspot, and I think that is completely undeserved. Essentially, it is grated carrot and potato, sausage, and the nectar of the gods, gravy. Like, can you believe this dish? Mm. As a Sunday Rose fanatic and a toad in the hole enthusiast, Hood Spot just hits the spot. <laughs> it's warm, comforting, and unassuming. A perfect dish for a cold and rainy day. Another food which I absolutely adored was kibbeling or fried fish. And those of you who have been watching my content for a while know that I actually am not a very big fan of fish and seafood. I actually eat them a few times a year and I never have a craving for them. So my stamp of approval definitely means a lot. And it was so great. It was juicy, flaky, very tender and not fishy at all. The tartar sauce, oh my days. As a tartar sauce hater, I really love this specific one. Dutch people, you really know your way around your sauces, don't you? Another food which I tried for lunch were of course the Dutch fries, which I know that they are not unique to the Netherlands, but I had to try them. And I got them with the curry ketchup, which surprised me because it was actually quite good here. Let's try the curry ketchup with onions and mayonnaise. Mmm. Well, it's very interesting. I really love fries, 
but I just like them crispy and properly salted. I don't like dipping them in any sauces. So me enjoying them with this curry sauce and the onions really does says a lot. But I don't know if they're really worth the price tag. Nevertheless, I think it's part of the Dutch experience and you should try them. Another food that you can have as late breakfast or early lunch are of course these amazing but simple sandwiches with sausage or cheese from one of the small independent cheese shops around Amsterdam, like this one. Now let's talk about the dishes that I had for dinner. Of course, since I was in Amsterdam, I really had to try the pea soup or snare. And it comes with a piece of speck and the rye bread. Mm -hmm. okay, let's try the soup. First of all, without the sausage. Cheers. Mmm, grandma vibes. I like it. Very hearty. Let's try the sausage. Mmm, I like it. And let's try the bread too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Loving it. It was so warm, so comforting, and it jump started my appetite for my main dish. The Dutch beef stew with fries. Let's see what's so tender. Okay, let me get this piece here. Mm. So, good. so juicy and succulent, which is the same thing, but it's me so savory. This place where I've eaten served the beef stew on a pile of Dutch fries, and it was the bee's knees. I cannot make a video about Dutch cuisine or more specifically about Dutch desserts without mentioning the flagship dessert item of the Netherlands, Stroopwa. Mm. Almost gingerbread. I like it. It was just warm, crunchy, caramelly. You can feel the century of tradition behind the Stroopwa. At Exdorf, they make it in front of you fresh, and as opposed to the other famous TikTok and Instagrammable waffle places, they don't add any bells and whistles to their product. It's simple, yet simultaneously so rich and complex. I'd love to have a fresh one right now to have with my afternoon coffee. It's just perfection. As promised, now I will reveal the food that absolutely nauseated me. This dish is called the pickle herring. Here's my reaction. Let's try the pickle fish. No. My days, it was horrendous. The fishiness, the sliminess, the difficulty of having a bite. The sandwich roll was great and so were the pickles and the onions. It's just the fish that really nauseated me. This is of course my subjective opinion. And I think if you do visit Amsterdam or the Netherlands, you should try it. And Dutch people, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yak your yam. I hope you can forgive me. There are plenty of dishes which I didn't try and with the exception of the pickled fish, most of the foods that I tried, I would at least classify them as B tier if I was going to put them in a tier list. And some of them actually got A's and S's, which is just great. Foodies, what do you think? Does Dutch food look appetizing to you? Would you try it? And if you already tried it, what did you think of it? Let me know down in the comments. And 
if you enjoyed watching this video, then the algorithm gods decided that this video is just for you. Until the next time. Bye!